Adams Charter Public News. Hello. Today we'll be featuring our October Star staff at Miss McDonald. We also have our annual Nature's Classroom field trip. All fifth graders will be visiting October 15th through October 17th. First, let's start with Miss Gillis and the eighth grade field trip to Harvard University October 24th. Hi, my name is Annie from TV News and we have a live broadcast with Miss Gillis. Hi, Miss Gillis. Hi. Thanks for inviting me. You're welcome. Um, so we are talking about the Harvard University trip for the eighth grade at Seven Hills Charter Public School. What are the eighth graders? Why are the eighth graders visiting Harvard? Well, uh, Harvard University called and invited our students to come and visit the campus to take place in to participate in their um, financial aid initiative. They offer this program so kids can visit the school and learn about financial aid, what's available, how to apply, and uh, hopefully it might spark some interest so kids can get to I, I would love to go to Highway. Would, would you really? Yeah, it's very start sleeping with Benny's mail. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, that's why this, this would be a great program for you, because you can find out how you can apply and possibly go. Will the students partake in um, any events there? Yes, yes. Uh, the students will arrive. They'll be greeted by a representative from Harvard University. They will um, sit in a program that talks about the different financial aid programs that they have, how to apply, like I said before. Then they'll tour the campus, and uh, then they get to have lunch. The Harvard University is going to provide lunch for all kids. That's good. Let's be a good lunch. What are your goals for the visit? Well, I think ultimately the goal is to show kids that there is money available, that there um, and there are different ways that they can get into college. So if we can encourage more kids, maybe more kids will so be able to go to college in the end. A, um, a scholarship, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think, you know, families and kids, they look at the big price tag and... They're like, uh, oh, man, you can't Yeah, college. yeah, and they stop right there. But, you know, sometimes it's just knowing what's available, knowing how to ask for it, and who to ask. great day to just kind of get out and, you know, change the scenery, get away from the school and, uh, and see some new things. But um, I hope they walk away with a, a little more interest in going to college. Best college in the world. It's a wonderful college. And it's a beautiful, beautiful campus. It's oh, very cool. cool. Right, right in the center of everything. There's all kinds. It's a great city to be in. There's lots of great music, lots of things to do. Uh, people walking around. It's, it's a really great trip. Will this be a yearly trip or a one-time trip? I hope it's going to be a yearly trip. In fact, I'd like to talk with some of the other area colleges and see if we can't set up similar programs so that the eighth grade students get a chance to to visit uh, some other schools and do some comparisons. Has this event taken place in the past? Well, well I know that um, this is the first year that I know of that we've done this with Harvard, and it's been a specific program to Harvard, but I know that in years past they have um, organized field trips that the kids can visit the area colleges, um, Winston and Worcester State, and um, Long Sessions. Yeah. So uh, I know the school has done that. I think this is the first time we're going to Harvard. Any final comments you have about the trip? Um, no, I would just encourage all the kids to go and, and enjoy it. It's going to be a fun day. You're going to learn lots. And, um, you know, if you walk away with one little piece of information, then it's, then it's worthwhile. So sign up and, and join us on the trip. Thank you for watching the Seven Hills News with Ms. Gillis and Annie. Now let's go to our feature with October Star staff, Ms. McDonald. Hi, I'm Renee from Seven Hills Charter Public TV School News, and we have Miss McDonald right here, who's been nominated for Star Staff. Yay! Thank you. Um, so Star Staff is every month a few teachers have been nominated to um, be Star Staff, and if they get enough votes, they are chosen. So you must have been chosen. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, now, we have a couple of questions for Ms. McDonald here, and, um, then we're on a roll. Alright, so, 
Have you ever been nominated for Star Staff before? No, I have not been nominated for Star Staff before. I, I'm brand new to the school, so this is my first year here. Oh, I have welcome. been nominated welcome. for other awards in other schools, but not Star Staff in this mm -hmm. school. This feel pretty awesome. I do. Awesome. I do. Um, what are the benefits of Star Staff? Well, I'm new to this building, but I hear the benefits are a pizza, your own parking spot, very close to the school, and a t-shirt, and I believe at the next staff meeting I need to accept an award or stand up and be recognized as star staff. Um, you're going to share that pizza, right? I already had that pizza Friday and I did share it with my fellow colleagues, yes. Sorry you missed it. How does it feel to have this honor? Very excited. I was uh, screaming and dancing when I saw it on Hilltop Happenings because I was so excited because I'm brand new to the building. And I definitely want to thank the first grade staff that I work closely with um, because I believe they had a lot to do with me being nominated and my fellow special ed colleagues. Um, what were you screaming? I was screaming because I was very excited. I'm very excitable. Like, what were you saying when you were screaming? Just, woo! <laughs> Do you want to give any pops or shout outs to anyone that may have helped you receive the star nomination? Definitely first grade, like I said, had a lot to do with it. Um, kindergarten I work closely with, I'm K1 and 2, but I believe first grade um, brought in a lot of votes for me and my fellow special ed colleagues, Mr. Jewett, Mrs. Dunn, um, Mrs. Martins. So okay. I'd like to thank them. Straight to the camera. Thank you. Hey, right. see ya. That will do for our, our first October newscast. Stop by www.sevenhillscharter.org for more upcoming newscasts in October. Have a good day. Bye.